Welcome to Uncle's channel. Thanks for watching today. And let's talk about how to fix the Canon Image ProGraph 300 or just simply Pro 300 for short when it throws the error code 5B00, which means that you have a full waste ink absorber. Now here's the annoying part from Canon to start off with. You can replace the ink absorber or even just simply get a paper towel in there and absorb a ton of ink out of it where it's no longer full. However, the code is going to stay on there until you actually have Canon or Canon Surface Tool completely clear that code out. And so you can have a brand new ink absorber, have zero amount of ink in it, and it's still gonna throw that code unless Canon themselves clear it. And so um, I searched all over the internet for how to clear this particular code and uh, pretty much everyone says you have to send it back to Canon and get them to look at it and uh, basically clear the code for you. However, that's going to cost a few hundred dollars and on top of that, Canon does not service this model of printer anymore. So it seemed like we have a $900 paperweight sitting on our desk, which is um, very unfortunate. However, we have the answer of how to clear that code, get your printer back to going again. And so today we're going to look at how to fix the error code 5B00 and get your printer back to printing again. Now, step number one, you do have to use a PC and not a Mac for this. And you have to connect your printer to your computer using a USB cable. This will not work over wireless and you have to use a USB cable to connect it to your computer, which is really annoying because Canon does not actually ship this with a USB cable. They do not want you to be able to fix this error. But if you have like a scanner or something, it should be the same type of USB cable as displayed here in the video. Now, step number two, you have to get your printer to enter into service mode. And in order to do this, just simply have an off mode and then hold the power button down. And while holding it, press the uh, stop button or the red upside down triangle button five times and then let go of the power button after you have pressed the uh, stop button those five times. It will take a second, but the printer will do its noises and whatnot, and it will print out a blank piece of paper. Now, I've seen that some print out a stats page, but mine just simply prints a blank page, so don't worry if yours prints out something or doesn't, as long as the paper just sort of uh, rotates through here. Now, you are officially in service mode at this point. Now, step number three is probably the hardest step of all of these, but it's still not very difficult. Now you will need to go and download the Canon service tool, and this is what Canon themselves uses to reset the error codes. There are different versions of this tool, but the most recent as of this video is the Canon V6000, and it works great. I was not able to find anywhere it has a free link to it. However, eBay sellers tend to offer it for around $9, around $10, or at least that's how much I paid for it. And I'll leave a link in the description of the seller that I used. As a heads up, he does seem to send out all of his orders in the morning. So if you order in the afternoon, like I originally did, he won't send it out to the next morning. So there will be a little bit of a wait period on that. Perhaps some other sellers will do it a little bit faster, a little bit differently. But like I said, I know this guy works and I know his link works. And so this is the one that I am personally going to recommend. Now, step four, once you have followed all of these seller's instructions on how to open the program up. He does have to give you like a key uh, in and of itself to open the program. Give it a second to recognize that your printer through the USB cable. And then you will need to go down to the ink absorber counter spot right here. Leave it as main and leave it as the value as zero and then click the word set. This will begin to reset the process. And when the screen allows you to click again, click log save and save the log file under any name that you want then click test print. Now it takes a bit for your printer to sort of work through all these steps. So don't get uh, too anxious if it's just making noises and the screen seems to be just sort of spinning for a little bit. It will take a little while. It's gonna print out a blank page for me, it may print out a stats page for you, but at this point the printer should be reset and you can now power it back off so that it exits service mode. Then wait about 20 seconds, power it back on normally and the error code should be cleared completely and you can finally print again like old times. Now, I truly do hope this video helped you and you can get to print it again. And I do ask that if it did, just simply leave a like on the video out of the kindness of your heart and consider checking out some of my other core content, which is about video games, both retro and current. But either way, I'm happy you're printing again and uh, just simply go out there and have a great rest of the day.